jumping into Agent Cube, uh, it's an interest-specific CRM that offers full sales cycle support from initial lead generation to renewal. So what we're talking about here is a platform that can manage your entire uh, sales life cycle and the clients and policies that you have within it. Um, it's incredibly intuitive. It's designed for the sole purpose of insurance sales. And uh, you'll see that from lead management through quoting, through reporting, um, there's really some cool stuff that we've built into it. In particular, I, I want to spend a fair amount of time today walking you through what it's like to quote uh, a potential client within the system. But as part of that, you'll need to understand kind of the, the full picture and, and breadth of what Agent Cube can do. And I'll do this through a, a live demo. I'm going to start off with a little bit of PowerPoint here. Uh, you can see that we'll have an easy-to-use dashboard. There's one spot that you log into where you can manage all aspects of a client life as it pertains to you. You can see you can set yourself calendar and appointment. You can report on any policies that are sold. And you can check on those policies to see where they're at in their life cycle, whether it was just an initial quote, whether it was an actual sale, how long that policy has been enforced, and maybe whether or not you should I get that client back on the phone for a cross-sell opportunity, uh, whether that's a month, six months, a year down the road, or whether you should approach them at time for a renewal. You can quote multiple plans side by side, both on and off exchange, and it is extremely easy to cross-sell within the platform. You see that this is what the initial dashboard that you log into looks like. A uh, very simple layout. You've got your uh, new leads and your prospects there on a nice easy to read chart on the left so you can see what you have to work on. You can see the number of policies you've sold and the policy premium associated there. And on the right hand side you've got a nice easy to view calendar. And I, like I said this is the first screen that you log into. I'm going to jump out of this presentation real quick just so I can walk you through kind of what the, the overall look and feel is here. So this is a test account that I've created at the agent user level. You can see within here I've got uh, two active clients, two new leads that I have yet to address, and uh, a prospect. You can see if I click on my, my active leads here, I've got Jason Day, I've got Kathy Whitworth. And just by using this little cog mechanism here, I can jump to any sort of aspect associated with that client. So I can look at the policies that are there. I can look at any notes, maybe from the first couple conversations or a face-to-face -face meeting that I had with them that I logged here. I can address any demographic or contact information. So say, for example, they've moved and they need to update address, maybe a phone number or email. And for the sake of it, let's just jump into Jason Day's record here. You can see at a glance all the pertinent demographic information in terms of getting in contact with Jason are there. I've got first name, last name, email. I've got his address. I've got where the lead came from. So in this case, it's a made-up lead source here under myself. I've got where he resides. And then any spousal or dependent data as well, which is key in terms of the quoting process. If I were to jump over to the history, this is where any previous interactions that I've had with Jason will be stored. One simple, easy to view list from uh, first point of contact all the way through. Now to jump into a quote, say for example, Jason finally decides he wants to move forward on purchasing some insurance through me. I can move into this uh, nice, easy to use, built into the platform quoting mechanism. I can see earlier this morning, I was in Jason's record and I saved a shopping cart for him. Her quote there. If I want to get a new quote, simply click there. All the information that's already stored in the system is pulled over. I tried to make this as intuitive and easy to use for the agent. That way you can have a seamless conversation with them while moving through the quoting process. I can check and see if he's subsidy eligible. can receive an estimated subsidy there. Now the key that this is the estimated subsidy that still has to be verified by whether it's a state exchange or the federal government, but I can at least get a initial guess based upon the Kaiser Family Foundation calculator. If I need to add any spouses or 
dependence, I can do that there. And then I can also select what type of product I'm interested in shopping for, whether it's health on or off exchange, whether they're looking for some sort of short-term coverage because they've got a gap that they need to take care of, whether they're looking for a variety of ancillary products. Click and move forward. And based upon the way the user profile is set up, so we can get you set up within the platform to harbor all of your licenses and appointments. That way you can see what you can and what you cannot sell all on the same platform. So here we can see that I've been set up to uh, sell Anthem. See, I can scroll through. HealthNet, Kaiser, and I can compare plans side by side. Uh, to make this a little bit easier to view, I'm going to jump out of this and into a full screen view. Go back to that health tab here. So you can see here that I qualified for an estimated subsidy of $138 a month. Um, you're presented with that standard silver plan right out of the gates and you're presented with what, what that estimated net premium is there. If I want to compare multiple plans side by side, it's pretty easy to do. I can click compare here. So I want to pull in that health net plan. And the Blue Shield plan. All the plans that are the client's interested are stored up here in the top scroll bar. So you can hover over and see costs, what the plan is. And I can also do a side-by-side -side comparison. You see that when this loads up, all the similar plan details are compared side-by-side -side here, speaking for a real nice, easy comparison. If I want to view any plan details, simply click. If I need to do a search for doctors or that are maybe within the network, I can do that. You can see also here listed in the on exchange, I'm choosing to display all plans that are available. So I don't have the Blue Shield on exchange appointment, and consequently, uh, I don't have the ability to add it to my shopping cart. See up across the top, we have the ability to select different product types. I can pull in uh, our AME plan here. I can view plan details. I can pull up brochures. all of which makes for a real easy conversation to have with the client. Any information that they might need is right there at your fingertips as the agent. When it come time, comes time to process the shopping cart, you can see that all the charges are outlaid. If the client has any last minute questions about the plan details, you can bring that up there. You can save the cart, and that will be saved in Agent Cube for future reference. Or I can choose to move forward and create the applications. You can see again that that subsidy amount is taken off the total. The shopping carts are broken out into two different parts. I've got an on-exchange application. This is part of the, the WBE that's associated here. It uh, gets broken off whether that's to the federal government or to a state exchange. 
and then the off exchange applications are done separate. Pretty slick. Everything is there in, in one fell swoop for you. Now moving back to Agent Cube, so once you actually go through the application process and simply entering the client's uh, demographic data and, and verifying that and then uh, reading the appropriate disclaimers that are there as well as processing payment information, all that's taken within the platform. You can jump back over to Jason Day's record in Agent Cube and the policies will be saved there. Now Jason has a few different plans saved under because I've ran a couple tests uh, shopping carts for him. But these policies that are currently in app out, if they're the ones that he chooses to apply for, will move into an underwriting status. And then once they're officially paid for and enforced, we'll move to an enforced status. So you can track all your business there. From a lead management perspective and client management perspective, that's pretty slick from the ability to place simple, easy business. That's Fantastic. You're able to take advantage of what we call the uh, double redirect, uh, WBE with the FFM and with state exchanges. So business is placed simply there. Uh, and then with the off exchange products, those are all going direct to carrier. Let's see if I need to make any notes here. Can. So I have touch points. And one huge feature that is part of Agent Cube is the ability to report on the business that you've written or the clients that have come through. Um, we refer to our leads or the clients that are stored in the system as opportunities. And the business that's written will be listed as policies. Within the opportunities side, there's a myriad of metrics for, for actually both opportunities and policies that you can report on. You have the ability here to essentially build tables based upon the time period that you want that has all the data associated with that client in it. You can select a date range. So if you want to look at the clients that you've worked with in the past two months, you can. You can group by a whole variety of options. There's, there's more data in here than need be, but key within here, you got your applicant's first name, their last name. If you want to pull up that customer ID that's associated with each client, you can. You can see when that lead was created. And there's a whole listing here of dispositions. Dispositions are how you exit out of a lead record. So whether or not you presented a sale, whether or not they were interested, whether or not you left a voicemail, what type of activity took place there. If you want to look at the states that you're doing business in, you can. The different sources for your leads. So you've got listed out a certain referral source or a certain partner that you have or a place that you've purchased leads from and you want to see how those specific leads are performing over others so you can invest your money and your time as best as possible. You can seek that out. And then all of that information is made available in a downloadable report here. So you can see when leads were created. Uh, you can even see when you last uh, exited or closed the record. If you want to move over and download that, we can. And that's just simply save it in an Excel file. For you, you can keep for your records. You can pivot out the data as need be. Uh, you can sort it however you'd like, but you can really take a, a solid look at your clients and what the base looks like that you're dealing with. 
On the policy side, the same functionality is there. Except within policies, you have a whole bunch of statuses and uh, data fields that are tied directly to the policy. So you've got your uh, policy approved date, you've got the carrier, you've got the billing frequency, the plan, the coverage type, deductibles, effective dates, policy IDs. So all that information is available there for you to report on uh, should you need to access that information at any time. And all that reporting is real time as well. The ability to add new calendar events is very simple. Just simply click on the calendar on the day that you need to create a new event. And I need to call Jason sometime next week. And that pretty much sums it up. Uh, it's a very simple, easy to use platform. 